Hi everyone and welcome to Antonia Orchids. I have noticed that my experiment regarding semi-water culture has been the most popular so far and given that my orchids will have to move out for a few days, I feel that it is time to make an update of my rescued orchids. If you have not watched the original experiment yet, I will post a link above so you can catch up. Okay, let's make a brief review. The goal of my experiment is to help rootless orchids and small divisions developing a root system under a constantly warm and dry environment. My experiment consists of three stages. In the first one, I keep the orchids under semi-water culture until new root tips emerge. Then I pot them keeping the media constantly moist thanks to a water tray gradually decreasing the water level as the new roots go down into the media. And finally, when the new roots reach the bottom of the pot, or when the plant counts on a decent root system, I start keeping the plant under the same regime than my other healthy plants. So let's begin with the plants that are already in stage 3, with roots that have already attached to their pots and that are serving the plants for hydrating normally. First. This is the orchid I potted up in the original experiment video. It has many roots going down towards the media. Let's take a look at the root system. There are now many new and long roots growing actively. As the orchid is pretty stable in its spot, a new growth is also on the way. Now let's move on to this Schomburgia twin that I potted up in my repotting Sunday video. They were two rootless division of the same plant, which I bought at the flea market in June. I potted this up a month ago and it was shown quite impressive results. There are new growths coming out and look at the root system. However, results will not be as fast as this all the time. I think this is a very successful outlier. Now, here is the Cattleya that was already in stage 3 in the original experiment video. As I didn't expect the recovery to be that fast, I think the orchid is now too heavy to this pot, so I think that I will repot it into a bigger container, trying not to disturb the roots. Also, there is a new growth on the way, which is doing very good. And finally, a Dendrobium Kiki that was in stage 2 in the original experiment video. After several months being in stage 2, I feel now very safe to water it normally with my other plants. The youngest cane is releasing a lot of sap and a new cane is also on the way. Let's see the orchids currently in stage 2. These are plants that are potted up in bark, which I keep constantly moist at the bottom. Remember that it is important to keep a normal watering regime, plus letting the media dry out from time to time. First, we have the other Chamborquia twin that was in stage 1 in my repotting Sunday video. Roots finally developed and it has been potted in bark for 4 weeks. Right now I am keeping a dish of water under the pot. Second, another of the stars of my repotting Sunday video. When I potted it up, it had long but few roots. And as it is very tall and not very stable yet, I have kept it indoors away from the wind. The new growth is developing normally and there are new roots coming up now. I'm also keeping a dish of water under the pot. Then 
This is the Epilalio Cattleya that I potted up in my repotting Sunday video. New roots are still growing and the new growth is developing pretty nicely. It also has a dish of water under the pot. If the weather is too hot, I just refill the dishes until it is watering day again. Do you remember this one? This is a single Cattleya suitable that I potted up in my repotting Sunday video. Just an experiment. It did develop roots under semi-water culture and now in stage 2, roots are going towards the moist media. As the capacity of stored water of this orchid is very low, I keep the pot inside a plastic container where I can maintain a higher water level that keeps most of the media moist. This is an orange brassia that is still in stage 2. It has only one root and it has grown rather slowly. So every time I water the plant, I keep a minimal amount of water at the bottom of the pot, which can be absorbed in a day or two. Now the orchid is developing a new growth and its only root is releasing new branches. The following two orchids are the ones that started everything. First, this Cattleya trianae. When I repotted this orchid, I realized that it was sold with no roots at all. But now under the experiment, not only it could grow new roots, but also two new babies which I hope that keep this small plant alive. The second one is a yellow Cattleya that I purchased without knowing that it had a serious stem rot. When I noticed, I cut all the dead tissue and left a small division, which we kept in semi-water culture until new roots emerged. I rushed up to pot the plant up and take care of the plant normally, but it was not ready. The roots became shocked and the plant ceased recovering until I developed the concept of stage 2. Now with proper care, this lady is developing a new growth and many new roots. Right now I am experimenting with other types of orchids. This is a Miltoniopsis suitable that I got for free in June. I have kept it in semi-water for two months and it developed a new growth and some roots. It has been potted for two weeks. As this media is more water retentive, I think that there is no need to keep a very high water level on it. In any case, I will keep you updated. Okay, so let me introduce you to my orchids currently under semi-water culture, or stage 1. This big Cattleya has been in semi-water culture for 3 months. It had a massive root system completely full of manure. And I have to say that getting rid of all of that was a long and pretty much disgusting experience. I also found some rodent pseudobulbs, several critters and a scale infestation. But with time and patience all the bad stuff is gone and now I can keep it alive hoping that it thrifts at some point. This Phalaenopsis mariae is a gorgeous plant with a horrible root system. I bought it a month ago and it was packed in moss, which I think caused this mess. The roots not only were dead or weak, but also had a moldy smell that I didn't like, so I'm keeping it in semi-water culture until new roots emerge. I repotted this Colmanara wildcat only to find that the root system was not very healthy and the plant was still very young. I think that it won't survive if I pot it up now. And I also don't like the spots and color of the leaves. So I will keep it isolated for now until I become sure that the plant is healthy and willing to develop. Now the sick phalaenopsis from my repotting Sunday video. So far so good. A few new roots actively growing and the leaves are in better shape than before. 
This is the only plant that I will keep in semi-water in the long run for now. First, because I want to observe if semi-water works for me, and second, because unlike my other falls, this one really hates bark and seems to be happier now. I will keep you updated. Thank you very much for watching and now let's review some viewers questions in my next video.